Today's data science interview question comes from Amazon. It's called percentage of total spend. So today's question comes from Amazon. It's called percentage of total spend. The question reads, find the percentage of the total spend a customer spent on each order. Output the customer's first name, order details, and the percentage of their total spend for each order transaction rounded to the nearest whole number. Assume each customer has a unique first name, i.e. there is only one customer named Karen in the data set. All right, so now let's explore the data sets. So we have two tables here. So let's just take a look at the orders table. We have customer ID, order date, order quantity, order details, and order costs. So what I actually care about to answer this question is only order details because I want to see that in the output as well as the order costs because I'm trying to find the percentage of total spend. All right, so now I have customer ID here. That's gonna lead me to the customers table. So the customers table, I have essentially their contact information. So the only thing I care about from the customers table is the customer's first name, which is found right here. And then the ID so that I can join this customers table to the orders table. So now let's write out our approach to the question. So the first thing I wanna do is join the orders table with customers table using an inner join. The reason why I can use an inner join is because I wanna keep all of the transactions in this orders table here, right? But I, I don't actually really need to keep all of the customers in this customers table because I only care about customers that have actually placed an order. So an inner join here would essentially just limit my rows to the customers that have placed an order. The second step would essentially be to sum the total amount spent by each customer. Then the third step would be to find the percent total spent so that's essentially order cost divided by the sum of order cost, right? The total amount spent by customer. And lastly, turn that into a percentage by multiplying by 100 and then round what you get to the nearest whole number. All right, so that's a pretty simple approach but the second part here, sum the total amount spent by each customer is going to require some advanced SQL techniques. It's going to require a window function, uh, specifically a partition by. So let's actually get started with the coding. All right, let's start with the join. So I'm going to select star from the orders table, alias that with an O, perform an inner join on the customers table, on the key c.id is equal to o.cust.id, which is a foreign key for customer ID. So if I run this query, I basically get all of the columns across both tables, but I actually don't need all of the columns, right? It's actually too many columns. What I'll do is just limit that to first name only, then order details, and then order cost. All right, so I have basically first name, order details, order cost here. All right, so one thing I wanna do is just place an order by here real quick. And I'm gonna order by first name, just because the names are probably not all grouped together. So here we have Eva, we have three transactions. So now let's move on to the second step which is sum the total amount spent by each customer. So this is actually the difficult part of the question here. So let me, let me illustrate what that actually means to find the total amount spent by each customer. If I just apply the a sum function here to sum the order cost, it's gonna sum across all the customers across all of the rows in the table. And that's not what we actually want. Right? We want to only sum the order cost or the total order cost by each customer. 
So let's take EVA as an example here. So the total cost across all three of our transactions is essentially 100 plus 20 plus 60, which is 180. So to find the total amount spent, it's really just summing these three rows together. So in order to do that, the easiest way is to use a window function, specifically a partition by. So here's what that window function is going to look like. So sum the order cost. So we basically want to sum this entire row over a window. The window is going to be partitioned by, and we want to partition that by the first name because we want to partition it by customers. All right, and so if we run this, let's take Eva again as an example. 100 plus 20 plus 60 is 180, and the sum column is summing the total cost correctly. Let's look at Frida here as a second example. She has four things that she bought. 100, and then 80, 30, and then 50, should be 260, and that's what we get here. And so we have the total amount spent by every single customer. And so all we really need to do now is just divide every transaction by the total amount that that customer has spent. And that's a simple division. So in order to implement that, we'll just combine the third and fourth columns and use a division sign here. And you know if you run this, you're just going to get a bunch of zeros and ones, right? because you have an integer divided by an integer. So let's just change that to a float. Now you actually have a decimal. So to change that to a percentage, you multiply by 100, just like in this fourth step, fourth step here. And then the last step, the question is asking us to round to the nearest whole number. So all we really need to do is just use a round function here. And then I'm gonna name this column as percentage of total spent spend and now we get the percentage of total spend for every transaction by customer so this is basically saying that eva when she bought her coat she spent 56 percent of her total amount just on that coat and then her slippers it was 11 percent of the total amount that she spent so if we check the solution here we see that the solution is correct